Hello, Peak Freaks. It's Coach Eva. How are you? Again, welcome the six week challenge members and all of you Peak Freaks are in the house. This is amazing. A lot of you signed up for the challenge, which I'm really super happy about and proud of you that you step up your game. Because the chaos is here right now. We don't know how long it's going to last. But here is the thing. The chaos always will be at some point in your life. It might be smaller, might be bigger, might be more intense, might be less intense. But how you're going to approach it and how you're going to react to it is the key component in life. So let's, let's think about the six weeks challenge as a really lesson to learn and apply for life. Because what I see is I see a pattern. And you might be seeing the pattern with yourself also. You joined the community. You've been a part of Peak for a long time. Some of you joined it now. So you, you, you will be learning about yourself, right? This is like a learning process. Hello, Nicholas. Hello, how are you? But for those who, who've been here for a while, right? The whole idea is to learn good habits for life. Not to have something temporary that will be here, you're going to get amazing results and then you're going to kick it at the window like this. That's not the point. The point in life is to learn these good habits that become so imprinted in you that you cannot live without them. And you might find yourself that you you... In the beginning, you might not like something. You might not totally agreeing with it. You might not totally getting it. But because you know that they are good habits, that you're going to learn them, you're going to start applying them, and then literally becoming habits of your life. Like, think about getting up in the morning, right? So many of you maybe were not, not, would not get up ever to do a 5 or 6 a.m. session right now. Right, but now you're getting up, you you're doing these sessions because you are in the challenge. But how about thinking that this is my lifestyle? This is something that I can totally incorporate and keep it for a lifetime. Because if this five and six a.m. that I'm gonna join for life, if this session will prevent me to gain the weight or will actually make me feel good. Look how life would look like. Because what I was started saying and I didn't finish is that a lot of times I see a habit. Hi, Aliana. That, that somebody starts really good. They're doing really good. They're learning the new habits and they're applying them. And then the chaos starts. Might be, this is beyond what we've been experiencing. I mean, when, when, when you look at this current situation, it's like, you're like, wait a second, is this really possible? Is this real? It's almost so surreal, right? But these chaoses will be happening in your life. So when it happens in your life, you're like pushing those good habits out the window and you're starting drifting yourself away from it just because something negative happened or just it's out of nowhere the life is taking over your own life. But remember that you are in control, in some control, the way how you approach these chaoses, the negative things that happen in your life, you are in control of them. You are in control of your own feelings. So you have always a choice how you can act. So I want really the six week challenge be like a good start for you. Something that, first of all, you're going to, hi Marie, that you're going to learn a lot about yourself. Like look today, I want you to really look at your behavior and your pattern. Like if you've been here for a while and you've been doing so good and out of nowhere you decided because the chaos stopped, happened and you stopped the membership and now out of nowhere you gain 10, 15, 20 pounds just because of the outside sources happened to you that you, you couldn't stop, you didn't say, wait a second, those are good habits. I've been doing this for so long. I need the exercise. I need the good food. I need the good nutrition. Hi, Ita. I'm going to wave to all of you. And out of nowhere, this whole thing stopped your good life. So think about the patterns in your life because, listen, they repeat themselves. How you do one thing, how you do everything. You cannot have good habits for three or four months and out of nowhere you're throwing them out the window you need to stop pause and think I cannot do this anymore because you need to go back to what happened what was the end result of you dropping the good habits 
You need to think that. That what are the consequences of, of, of actually dropping the good things that you've been doing for yourself? This is, I want you to learn here a life lesson because the six week, this is not just a weight loss gym. This is not just you going into the sessions and you just doing the sessions. This is more. This is a community. We want to teach you. I want to give you as much of knowledge that you can use this knowledge for yourself. So you can actually say, okay, I've been doing this. I've been working out. I've been applying all these things. I learn about nutrition. I know what's good, what's bad. I know how to read the labels. I am aware of all these things that I can decide and I have a choice. I have a voice. You have a voice that you can say, this is not good for me. I am not going to do that because this will lead me to bad, bad end result. So think about it. This is a community that you can learn so much. But when you learn and you know that something works for you, don't give up just because chaos happens. And remember this, they will be in life. Life is never smooth. Life doesn't have a smooth surface. Life has bumps and hills and valleys. And you're going to be going up and climbing the crazy hill. And then you're going to roll down the hill. It's going to be easier. You're never going to have the same day with the same energy. You never, the, life is not always the same. It's different. It's different every day. Am I right? I'm, I think I am. And you know that, that this life is just going to bring in you logs that's going to be throwing you fires under your feet. It's going to be showing and throwing you obstacles. But here is the thing. They all going to be different because life is never the same. We don't know what's coming. We don't, I don't know what's behind the corner. I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring me. I do not know, but I still thank you, but I still have a chance and make my good decision today that I have a voice. I want you to feel like you have a voice. I want you to feel like you have a choice. Like when you go to the supermarket, you have a choice. And it's this is not about never eating something that it's not healthy. Of course, you, you, you can and you will be. Once you reach your goal, you can have something, but you also will know what are the consequences, how you feel. You also will learn that there are substitutes in life, that maybe a bad and real ice cream can be a substitute to a frozen yogurt. That a, you know, bad pizza, you can have a substitute of making out of maybe vegetables and fat-free cheese. You know, you will learn the, the substitutes here. And that's what I want. I, we want to give you as much knowledge, not only about nutrition, but also about life. That life and foundation of life is really our health. Look how many people have been struggling right now. Look how many people struggle every single day. The obesity in the country, the the, and the amount of unhealthy people is crazy. It's beyond levels that we would ever even imagine. And I want you to, first of all, lose the weight, learn how to apply it, and never ever go, going back to where you came from. Never. Because some of you that will be watching the video, some of you that are watching that right now, you've, you've hit it, you hit that moment that was like almost like a rock button. Right, that you hit that moment that if you wouldn't lift yourself up, went back to the community that was serving you so well, you would have been lost still. And I never, never want you to go back there because it breaks my heart when I see this. It breaks my heart when I see that people do so good, so good, and then the chaos happens. This whole dramatic life happens and because, because think about it, having a community of people will help you to deal with crisis so much better, right? You might have a family, you might have kids, you might have your loved ones, but that might not be enough. You might have to have something bigger, something stronger, a sense of belonging like this group that will lift you up, that will help you. You create friends. You, you, you can reach out to the coaches. You can reach out to me. I always give you my number. You have to just call me, text me. I will reply to you. So you have a people that will be there for you, that will stand by you and lift you up. 
So when the chaos happens, your own your own family might not be enough. You need the community. You need somebody that will lift you up. But when you don't have it because you withdraw yourself from it, now think about it, how hard it's going to be. You don't want to do this. I want this six weeks challenge to be a life, really a, a creation of life lasting habits. It really breaks my heart when I see this. When I see somebody doing so good, chaos happens, life happens, and life will be happening. Look, think about it like when we see this. Okay, life is happening, and then I gained 20 pounds. Life happened, you know, there, there will be a lot of different things happening. Our loved ones, our people that we love, they're going to go away. Our pets will die. Our, you know, people that we cherish will, will step away. And if, if this will throw you off so much of balance, how are you going to deal with it? You need to ask yourself a question and you need to, I want you today to look at your life and see the patterns. What patterns do you see? When something drastic happens, do you actually step out of the good things that happen to you that you, like your workouts? You know, you you, retru you reverse yourself, you retract yourself, you step back, you eat poorly, you eat bad, you don't take care of yourself. And then because of that one thing in your life, now you bring another negative thing to your life because it's your health now. Now your health is in danger. At least you had this, but maybe somebody died and you lost it. And then your health got impacted, you gained the weight, then you started feeling poorly, then you started having less energy, that you started hating yourself the way how you look, then eventually you don't even get along with your family. And Nicholas is writing to me that if you slip or fail or make a mistake or a bad decision, you can not, not, hold on, wallow in in you cannot dwell on it you really need to just dust yourself off and start again and there is more to it yes beautiful words thank you so much yes we all made bad decisions we all had slips and i tell you and even i had slips and people ask me you never gain weight i don't gain weight I might fluctuate one or two pounds. That's normal. But allowing, not ever allow myself to gain five pounds, to gain four pounds. Why? Because I'm true to myself. I go on a scale. I weigh myself. I do my body fat measurements. And I try every day is a decision that I make and I try every day. Guys, this is not like a, a, a script that it's been... It's been, I, I get up on the autopilot and I do these things because they are in habits. They are habitual to me because I learned them. I learned them to eat good breakfast. I learned to eat good snacks. I learned to eat another shake. I learned to eat good, good snacks in the afternoon. I learned to eat good food. And you can learn this too. You made the best decision, bad decision, but don't let it last for too long. If one day was bad, you got to think what the consequences are are the consequences of one day became a week and a month and then months what the consequences are you need to review yourself because i want to protect you from doing it not that i will protect you i want you to learn how to protect yourself because i had bad days of course, bad days sometimes, but that was more not, not like a bad day, I would say. It was more a decision of having something bad. And it's okay. But the next day, I would not allow it. I would be very aware and present with myself of the situation. I would say, that's it. Because if I continue, what's going to happen? All of us had it. We are humans. There is no one perfect. It's not about being perfect. But it's about seeing the patterns so a lot of times think about it the pattern on your health will be a pattern of your life the way how you run business you gaining you losing think about your your business are you doing the same thing to your business are you doing the same thing to your employees are you doing the same thing to others like if you like this instead of having a steady good flow like those weeks cannot last Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I, I really, because you know what? It comes 
let me drink some more. It comes from a sense, I see those posts and it just twists my insides, thinking that somebody has to go through this again. Like literally, it, it makes me like ready to cry. Because let me tell you one thing. You, not a lot of you know this. I was anorexic. Severe anorexic ended up in the hospital as a child. I was 12, 13, 14, maybe 14 years old. And it stays with me and it will stay with me to my grave because anorexia is not going anywhere. So I have to deal on daily basis to not go overboard and to not go on the other direction too, that either not eating or overeating because the, the line is very fine line. So it's work. Everybody has something. I have this. It's been with me since I was little. But anorexia is a sickness. It's not coming from just out of nowhere, not eating food. It comes from emotional issues. It comes from emotional things that you deal with. And that's deeper. And think about it. Eating. Eating, like when we eat, when we eat, we won't eat bad. So the, the endorphin starts coming in, right? So you feel better. Find something that you love. Involve yourself things that you love. Maybe you love the reading. Maybe you love exercising. There is always a, a way of dealing with stuff. And first of all, do not suffer alone. You have this community. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask. It's okay not to know. I don't know any everything. <laughs> I wanted to say anything. I don't. We don't know everything. We know a lot, but we're still in process of learning because that's life. We got to learn. So you will learn. So ask questions. Ask us. We will help you. We wanted to help you. We wanted to correct you. Yes. Embrace your passions. Embrace your life because the, the, food, the food that we eat, it's all for energy. It's all for good energy. So we can use this energy to create something amazing, right? Something that will last, something that will be good for other people. But please do that homework today. And I want you to really look and think how the best version of your life would look like. What would that be? Would you be strong, you know, fit, healthy, having an awesome, awesome relationship with your loved ones? What would your, that day, what your life would look like if you would close your eyes and you would imagine that? Because I want for all of you to have this, really, to not struggle constantly. And, but the thing is that sometimes we need to face the struggle. Some, some of you need to have the struggle first. Hi, Laura. Hi, Dina. Dina, right? Hello. I hope that you can watch this from the beginning. Sometimes the struggle has to happen in order for us to, to, go, to go and find our way. But here is the thing. If the same struggle that you just faced a year ago, you got yourself so well, and now the same struggle you're facing, that means that you're going through the effect yo-yo, that you're going through these ups and downs, these valleys, and you, have, you cannot control enough something that you can control. Something, because this is in your control, the choices that you make daily, the choices of workouts, the choices of eating good food. So... What I want for, for you, what I wish for you, is to learn from these mistakes. It takes time. It takes time to learn the good habits and takes time to learn from the mistakes. It's the hardest, don't you think? That, what, but how are you going to learn from your mistake? It's not something that you're going all out, you're going to lose in six weeks challenge the weight, and then you're going to say, all right, I'm done. I am on done. I learn and goodbye. That's not a good way of learning. Good way of learning is like embracing and thinking how the six week was for me. How did I feel? What thoughts gave me? What things brought for me? Joy, encouragement, laughter, you know, sense of belonging, 
great session, feeling amazing, awesome energy, awesome community of people, made friends. Do not separate yourself from it. That's the whole idea. You know, successful people always surround themselves with successful people. Always. That's how it is. So if you have a successful weight loss, surround yourself with success. Don't leave the community and go somewhere else. So it's going to be a process. That's why we're asking you every Friday to post a video. So every day, write down, how did the day make you feel? What was that one thing that made you feel awesome today? Was it workout? Was it, was it posting your meals? Was it getting a coach that really responded to you and taught you something? Was it, what were the feelings happening, the emotions that day? If you do a journal for a day, I journal all the time. I have hundreds of these journals. They are all these different high performance uh, habits and high performance influencers. I use them daily. I learn them. I switch the books. I have my fa favorite and I apply them mm -hmm. and they help us being, Hello. yes, honey, I'm coming. They are adorable. They help us. They help me to stay focused. They can help you to stay focused when you do these daily journaling. And then yeah. at the end of the six weeks challenge, you're going to be, you're going to be greatly, gratefully surprised how awesome the impact is on you. So Use this process, use this learning, apply these things. Don't think that it's short term, that it's long term, that this is all for you. So you prevent, protect yourself from going to a place that you don't want to go again. And please, it's okay. You don't, some of you will be starting with things that will be small changes, right? Maybe a little change today, maybe a little change tomorrow. You're going to combine them and add them. Some of you are like this. I just I made the decision. It's all at once. I can change everything. And this is awesome when you can do this. But remember, everybody is different. So don't compare yourself to others. Find your own way, but also follow the coaches. Follow what we suggest you. Don't be resistant to change because if you resistant if you in a way having your own ego it's gonna be hard for you to learn so we need to be very vulnerable we need to be very open to feedback and take it in and learn and apply and do a little bit more and think about them as habits that can slash you for life that can stay with you for life so you don't need to go to effect yo-yo and ups and downs and you remember this each time you lose, each time you gain, the next time you go around and try to lose the same weight, yes, you might do it, but your body fat percentage will be different. Each time you do this more, you're going to have a harder time to do this because after age 27, your body fat percentage starts increasing and your bone density and your bone and your lean muscle tissue starts decreasing. That's why you start seeing it. That's what I hear always from my ladies friend in my groups that, oh my God, I, I am, I am getting harder. I have a harder and harder time to lose that weight. I say, yes, now requires more than ever for you to work. But if you would have done this job at your age, 26, 27, you would have a little bit easier way right now because you can look better than ever at age 40, 50, 60. Nobody said that you can, you can, and you will, but be consistent work it. It's work. It's hard work. It's hard work, everybody. It's hard work. Every single day is a choice. Every single day is a hard work. Every single, single day you have to make the decision. And that's how life is. And I wish you all the best in the six weeks challenge. It's, it's going phenomenal, but make sure you're being diligent in everything that every every Friday you're gonna make that video. Every Monday you're gonna uh, you're gonna put that picture of yourself. Create the album of the pictures of every week, and keep on coming. Thank you so much, and keep on coming to this gym. Have a no excuses mindset, and I guarantee you, you're gonna have an amazing, amazing life. It's gonna the life will be bombarding you from all these different directions and you're going to have that wall, that resilience, that you're going to brace yourself and you become stronger than ever because that's the community you're going to learn this. All right? 
any questions, please post it here. Message me. You have more questions. You want me to coach you a little bit more on nutrition. I'm going to post my cell phone number, 925-1860. I love to be available. I schedule, I schedule my calls. Just so you know, we can chat and we're going to exchange. We're going to schedule a call. So we have our time. We have that 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. If you have, if you are here for the first time, make sure you're scheduling a free consultation with me or Eliana. And so we can get you on the phone. We can get you on the Zoom, cre clear your goals, have your goals set up, help you with the setup of your goals, discuss the pattern of your life that already been, you've been through, and now we need to play, apply changes and we need to learn the ways, the new ways, so you can have a better life. All right? So with this say, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. I will be working out soon too at, uh, I think 515 coach Alyssa is coaching, I think today. So whoever is day, I will be jumping on and having an amazing workout. If you have not done your workout, make sure that you, you're doing your workout today. And again, if we can help you with anything, please post, reach out, talk to you soon and no excuses.